Hey there, welcome back to Easy Electricity. Today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up some pot lights, add pots, to a living room. You can just see the ceiling in here. It didn't have any light before. So we got a channel cut out where we can run our wire in between. And then we measured out for six pot lights. We're going to be taking power from the switch that's right here. And the way you know if there's power in it is... First of all, if it does turn on a different light, but also if you've got some white wires in there, it's going to tell you that this switch does have power in it. We're going to add a switch here, make this a two gang. So one will control pot lights in here and one will control the living room ones. Um, what we're going to do is take one wire from the switch, go up through the ceiling and over to our first pot. And then in between pots, we're going to fish some wires and I'll show you how to do that part. Next, we're gonna actually wire up the pot lights. I'll show you that little clip. And then we'll tie in this new switch here and we'll show you how it all works. Okay, we've got most of our wires in now. Here's our last one. It's attached to some fish sticks on the other side. I'm gonna have it taped on. And there's our last one. So we use these fish sticks which are just rigid. Some of them do glow in the dark a little bit, but they help you get all the way through the joist cavity. We drilled holes all the way through our chase here. And what you want to end up with is two wires at each pot light, except for your last one. The way it works is you're getting power from your switch to your first pot, and then in between from pot to pot, and you just keep going. And then your last pot light will only have one wire in it. It'll just make it the simplest to wire it that way. Now I'll show you how we strip the wires and actually get them into the junctions. So we just use a knife and only slice through about four inches and careful not to cut the white or black wires that are inside. And then you cut that piece off. We'll do the same thing to this one. And the reason we're leaving these so short, in a plug or a switch, you wouldn't have them this short. But here, the junctions are really small, so we make this end of the wire quite a bit smaller. But we still have some excess here in case we need it. And then you strip just over half an inch of each end, like this, to prepare your wire. These are ready to go into our junction boxes. And that's what you're going to do for each one of them. So here's a pallet that we're using. Um, you do have to get gray connectors to put into it. And then inside you've got a green for your bond, a black and a white. You just take your wires, put them through the gray connector, and make sure that the outside white insulation is tight in there. And then you're going to start with your bare copper. It's going to go into these little quick connects. Sometimes the pot that you get might have a moret connection. These ones happen to have the quick connects, which is a little simpler. All your whites will go together. This part is straightforward. And then all your blacks as well. And once you have your connections done, make sure there's no loose wires. You can give them a little tug. Fold them in nicely. And then you're going to put the pot light up into the ceiling. And these are already connected here. What's nice about these pots is they can fit pretty much anywhere where there's at least drywall above. And there's the finished look and that'll show it to you with them all on in a few minutes. Okay, we've got all the wiring in place. Um, I'm just going to show you here what we did with the switches. So we made this into a two gang box. All your copper wires, they go right to the box or little screws. Each of those need to be bond it to the box and then you snip them because our switches don't need grounds. We've got all our whites are together here under one moret. Those are our neutrals. And then power we have coming. These two wires here are power. One is our feed. One goes to another circuit somewhere else. And then one set of living room pots and our other room pots are going on each other side of the switch. On this dimmer we have the three-way capped also show you something really neat about this switch. It's called a Cassetta. It's a Lutron product. 
and it comes with a remote so this one actually gets power but then it comes with a remote that's this size and you can put that remote in a different location and it works just like a three-way switch so you can control your pot lights or pendant from here and from another location without running any extra wires so it saves you quite a bit of time and money in doing that and then I'll show you how to program it that doesn't take very long so we're going to put our switches in the box here and in just a minute we're going to turn the lights on and you'll see how all the pot lights look all right we're just finishing here with the plate and then we'll turn our pot lights on so these two switches look a little different because one is a dimmer and one of them is the remote switch which i'll just show you talks to a remote and you can put that pretty much anywhere in your house i think the range is about 100 feet and that lets you control your lights from a separate location so here are our pots in here you can see them dimming and then our other pots in the living room that we showed you how to fish we can just show you the switch here this button will just turn them on the top and then we'll go off with the lower button and you this specific one actually dims as well if you hold the middle buttons it'll dim them lower or you get the full light there and then this is the remote that comes with it so it looks pretty much the same as a switch I'm going to show you how to pair your dimmer, the, again, Cassetta Lutron. This is called the Pico Remote. So the lights are on right now. This is working. You're going to hold the off button for six seconds until you see these little lights start flashing there. And then you're going to hold the off button on your remote for six seconds. And when they pair, your lights are going to dim on and off three times. And that means the remote is working, so we'll just let them do that. And now we can actually use our remote to turn them off. You can see them go off there. And then we'll use the remote to go back on. Perfect. And we can use this remote from pretty much anywhere in the house. The plate that it comes with, you can go ahead. It has a little sticky tab on the back. You take that off, stick it right on the wall, and then you can screw the plate right on top. And this just works like a switch anywhere else in your house. So that's it. Cassetta Lutron is the product. You can find it at Home Hardware, Home Depot, electrical suppliers. Here are a couple of diagrams that hopefully will help you to lay out your pot lights. We already had ours drilled in the video, but there's a layout of eight pot lights. And then up here we've got six. A general rule of thumb is if you've got your one time spacing here, whatever this wall is to the center of your first pot light, the measurement between the next pot here should be double or two times this measurement. Works the same here. If you've got one time here, one X, then two X between the pot lights will give you the best spread of light. For example, if from this wall to center of pot light is 24 inches, then you want the space from pot light to pot light to be 48 inches. Same this way. This would also be 48 if this was 24. With eight pot lights, you're doing the exact same thing. Let's say you have 30 inches from center of pot light to your wall. Then you want from pot to pot to be 60 inches. And that should give you the best spread of light. It'll make it pretty even in the room and it'll look good. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.